messaging me. This is the great legend, and I am coming at you tonight. Tonight we have Legends Live Auction. Fans, thank you so much for coming to Legends Live Auction, coming to watch, do what we do best, and that is sell some comics, Funko Pops, movies, video game, pop culture, whatever you want, anything. Live Auction. Thank you so much. For Damn, that sounds good. <laughs> Welcome to Legends Live Auction, where the great legend is coming at you live, and tonight, we got three sellers, and we may have a fourth if Trilogy's Comic Corner can make an appearance. I don't know if he's going to be making an appearance or not, but he may be on board as well. First, let me introduce our uh, seller number one tonight. It's Houdat Comics Collectibles and Gaming. What is up, everybody? What's up, Legend? Thank you for having us, and hope everybody's doing well tonight. Oh, yeah. Russ, thank you so much for being here. Next up, we have Trinity Comics. Oh, yeah. What's going on, everybody? And Trinity, I love that jersey. Peyton for life. <laughs> oh, yeah. Go. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and last but not least, Big Bear Comics. Heck, yeah. What's up, everybody? I got my Halloween edition for everyone, and I got my partner in crime, Norm, with me tonight. So we're ready, <laughs> we're ready to sell some horror books tonight. Horror books. So uh, stay tuned and enjoy Oh, yeah, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For any one of y'all who's just joining the show in the comments, here's how we roll with it. We have three rounds. We have round one, round two, and final round where the magic really happens and where the stuff hits the fan. What we're going to do, uh, what I'll do is I'll start with who dad here in a minute. I'm going to show him his email address. You'll want to uh, write the email address down or have your uh, email program open so you can email Russ the bids of the uh, books that you want to place bids for. Um, what you need to do in the subject line, put the name of the item and what you want to bid on the item, you know, what your bids at. That way it makes it easier for Russ to uh, uh, sort through his inbox and see all the bids and all the stuff coming through. And that's how we'll do it. So fans, without further ado, I'm going to pop up Russ's uh, email here. It's sorop25 at yahoo.com, S-O-R-A-P. 25 yahoo.com and it's round one and it's time for russ all right all right all right <laughs> all right fellas uh everybody in the auction um i'm starting off with a i would i would say this is a good halloween book but uh because this is omega man 3 cgc 9.8 white pages first appearance of lobo he ha will have a movie uh, it's in the works. I think they already started pre-production and stuff like that on it. They just haven't announced everybody, but they're writing it, and it will be in production very soon. Um, like nothing is wrong with the case. Case is in perfect condition. Um, took it out of the back so y'all could see it better. And for this book, that is, I've been seeing a GPA around close to two hundred dollars for this book. Starting bid will be one hundred and forty dollars. Lobo, man. And also, I wanted to say uh, my shipping is included on all my stuff. And if you want to pay, you know, like when you pay through PayPal, if you do not want to send friends and family, I will uh, ask you to add the 3% uh, PayPal fees. That's right, fans. So if you don't send friends and family, like, you know, say you, you don't know about this guy named Russ, you know, you don't know if he's legit or not, then he will ask you to pay the uh, 3% PayPal fees on top of whatever the price is of the item. So just remember that. All right. The next book will be a good Halloween book. Big Bear showed it in his. I showed it in my preview, but this is just the number one. This is Frankenstein number one, PGX 8.0. What I can tell you about this case, and it's in this mile or cases in beautiful condition, but I can tell you about this book by just looking at it. It definitely could use a pressing. It has some, like, roll here and at the bottom. So if you are into that and want to do that, this book probably can hold its 8.0 or CGC or CVCS or probably even get higher because it doesn't break color, but it definitely could use a definitely a pressing. Very good. But the starting bid for this book, a uh, PGX book, that I'm guaranteed probably can get a higher grade if you press it, the uh, starting bid would be $60. Sixty dollars for this Halloween type book, Frankenstein. This book is like forty years old. 
Yeah, it is 40 years old. Over 40 years old. 43 years old. Uh, we're all old. <laughs> <laughs> this book's 43 years old, but, you know, yeah. $60. Shipped. That's a damn good deal. And you're only going to get it here tonight live on Legends Live Auction, uh, October 15th, special <laughs> Halloween edition. All right, this next one will be Master of Kung Fu. This is a special Marvel edition, Hands of, I never can say this guy, Nang Shang. Shang Chi. Shang Chi, thank you very much. Shang. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is his second appearance, if I'm not mistaken. This book, uh, I would has a few, like maybe a few spine ticks, not very much, but this book is in beautiful condition. I would say probably seven, five ish, or probably higher because I try to grade lower. Um, uh, but it's definitely in great condition. Um, staples are attached, um, corners look very good. Um, but this will start off at $20 bid, $20 bid for this book. And like I said, it's very, very good. If you're looking for his first appearance, but can't get it right now, you can get his second appearance because he will be in the Netflix show, if I'm not mistaken. That's he's going to be in that Iron Fist show, right? Yeah, yeah. I think they announced that he was going to be in there. there. Ain't no Shane Sung. That's Mortal Kombat. It's Shane Chi. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, my oh, next, I'll, I'll go with a decent. I showed these before, but since it's closer to Halloween, I'll bring hey, them back. I'll bring them, I'll red bring thing. Them, look at that red thing. I'll bring them back. <laughs> I'll bring these back for Halloween. Oh, look at that. These package deal of the Archie Afterlife. This is the number one variant cover. I would say these are easy nine, six, nine, eights, probably most likely, but I'm gonna go on the low end with nine sixes because they have not really they've not been taken out and with these black backgrounds, you know, you gotta be very careful with it. But uh this is the first one, which I like the second one better. Uh but th well, this is the fifth fifth co cover, but uh this is another variant of the Kind of like getting scared, but I like this one better. But uh, like I said, I think they both are nine sixes. You know, everything's good with them. They haven't been touched, bought them, and left them like this. I will start the bidding on these for twenty dollars. Also, twenty dollars for these two Archie Afterlife. I think they come out like whenever they feel like it. <laughs> Archie Afterlife doesn't have a set schedule. What I've been told. <laughs> And um, I'll think, yeah, I'll do this one. I'll do my, this one's going to be, if some people have watched my video and some people have saw us on Facebook, I said I was going to have a super, Serop Super Saver, saving, what is it? I forgot to even know how I said it. I think Serop Super <laughs> Saving. <laughs> Sale, Serop Something, I don't know, but it's going to be Serop Super Savings, whatever. Yeah, Super Savings, that's how, all it is. So this book is going to be, I'm going just, to just, just tell you what it is. It's going to be at a low price of $10 starting bid before I even show you the book. So it's $10 be the starting bid for this book. I would say it's probably roughly a seven, probably better, but uh, I'm just going to say seven to be on the safe side. But because uh, it has some spine ticks, I would say maybe one, two, three, I'll say four or five. But this is the book, X-Men 141. Damn. So it, this uh, show a little bit better. It's in the like a mile or, you know, so you could look a lot better in this. But uh, great book to have is the what is it? The Days of Future Past. Very yeah. first issue for that. Uh, just had the movie not too long ago. But ten dollars for this X Men key, great cover. Starting bid for that ten dollars. Wow! <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> I gotta over. compete with you, Big Bear. I'm sorry. I know that's you, that's that's a Big Bear bottom. What a nail! I screwed it up. <laughs> <laughs> but all that right, is it. that is it. Uh, that's all I have for right now. And just FYI, I already have a bid on the X Men uh, 141. <laughs> <laughs> That's real good. It's, so up, it's, up to, it's up to fifteen dollars already. <laughs> so remember, you can find Russ. There's his email: serop25 at yahoo.com. Serop25 at yahoo.com. Now, 
We're still in round one. I'm going to get ready. <laughs> is an uh, email, Jeremy's email, ready to go. And then I'm going to check the comments here, see who, what, what we got shaking in the comments today. All right, there's Jeremy's email. We'll get to Jeremy here in a minute. We're going to check the comments. All right, let's go over to all the folks here in the comments tonight. I want to thank everybody so much for coming to watch some Legends Live auction. First off, the guy was here before the party started, and he said, let's get this party rolling. We got Huey's comic hideout from Blasted or Stash It. Huey is in the house. Dave, so good to see you. Next up, we got Cougar Games. Cougar Games is in the house. Cougar, so good to see you tonight here on Legends Live Auction. Thank you so much for waiting. We got crazy, crazy, crazy noob. Just crazy noob, not three crazies. But we got crazy noob here tonight watching in the comments. Thank you so much, noob, for coming to support Legends Live Auction. Next, we got Contender. Contender is here in the house tonight. We got Brucey Bruce, the Cowabunga King, fan of Ninja Turtles and Batman. Bruce Zayas is in the house. And Bruce, Bruce has been on the auction show before. Good to see Bruce in here. Next up, where is he at? I saw him a little bit earlier. Mr. E. Mr. Rockfish. No, Mr. Rockfish01. Thank you for watching tonight, Mr. Rockfish. The Unboxing Bros are watching. He'd be like, how late and drunk am I? Unboxing Bros. Go check out Mike and Steve. They unbox pretty much every little subscription box you can think of. And PGH Zombie. One of my guys I like watching not only on YouTube, but also on Instagram. I like watching the zombie on Instagram, too. HOC Comics, thanks for stopping by. So good to see HOC. And we got my man Midwest <coughs> Comic Man in the chat. Midwest legend. The wife says, keep growing that beard. You aren't there yet, LOL. Great to see you, Midwest. And, you know, the Legends Live Auction is brought to you by None other than the GoFundMe page for Midwest Comic Man's pressing and cleaning service. You can check it out down below in the video description. Just right-click, open new tab, and fund. Go fund Midwest Comic Man, his cleaning and pressing service. All right, so next up, who else we got? We got Captain Dadpool. Captain, it's good to see you tonight. And we have, who else? Funk Off. What's up, Funk Off? It's good to see you, too. All right. So here we go. Let's see here. Let's get back in it. Jeremy, you are up next. Let me get you on my screen. And we got a lot of action. We got a lot of good action in the chat tonight. All right, here we are. This is Jeremy30 at gmail.com. That's J-E-R-A-M-I-E-3-0 -E at gmail.com. Take it away, Trinity. All right, this is for all you Star Trek fans. This is getting Halloween. You might need this for your Halloween costume. I got this from the BAM box. This is, I don't really know what it is. But, oh, uh, it's the little it on your uniform. Yeah. It's got all of them. I think it's like your rank pins, and then there's your communicator or whatever they call it. I remember those little dots on them. Yeah, I'm gonna start, uh, I'll sell this for $10, free shipping. Damn. I remember John Luke Picard had them four dots because he was the man. Yeah, this is it's got the it's got the four uh, gold ones and then one black one. Like I don't know nothing about Star Trek, so. Damn, that's probably the highest rank you can get. I don't know probably. neither. I, I don't know that. <laughs> Could it be the admiral or something. I don't know. Yeah, it might might be. But the next admiral. item is uh, another item from the bound box. Uh, another for you since it's Halloween. I figured I'd throw this in there. This is a uh, it's actual cloth swab from the jacket of the uh, crew member of the Ariga on the Aliens movie. And it's a uh, bound box exclusive. You can only get it from there. Oh wow! <clears throat> That's an actual uh, little swab from that jacket right there. It doesn't say who owned it. It just says worn by the Ariga crew. Uh -huh. So. You never know. It could be somebody famous. But, uh, <laughs> uh, I, you could have wore that jacket. 
Yeah, Sigourney could have worn it. And uh, I sell this one also for ten dollars shipped. That's damn good. And I'm gonna keep it in the bound box community. And uh, this is a this is a it's from uh, Bianca Thompson. It's a sketch card from Salt Lake City Comic Con. Uh, they put this. I guess it was Salt Lake City Comic Con. It's a sketch card of the Joker. It's oh an yeah. Actual, it's an actual art piece. And uh, you can see the back of it, Bianca Thompson. I guess that's some more work she's done. I haven't heard much of her. But they come in these little, uh, like, it was really nice. Like, it's held by, with magnets, this little magnet holding together. Mm -hmm. I'll also sell this for $10. Mm -hmm. And pretty much everything tonight is going to be free, uh, $10 free shipping with me, uh, except a couple exceptions. But uh, let's see, that was one, two, three. Oh, here you go. I'll say that. I'll show this. Here's a art print that I don't really care about. It came in the it's a Ghostbusters. Oh. <laughs> Made by Rocky Davis or Rocky Davies, whatever his name is. It's limited to 1,999. This is 531. If you want this, guess what? $10 shipped. Damn, that's a nice little slot. Any, any fan of the Ghostbusters? I mean, and if you're a fan of the Ghostbusters, you got to be a fan of Slimer. <laughs> That's cool. And then, let's see, I got one more item. Uh, this one might be a little, I might sell this one for a little higher. But this is a replica of the ring from Lord of the Rings. It's got the inscription on it. This ring is black. I think you can see that pretty good. Damn. But uh, I'll tell you what. Ten dollars shipped. If you want it, ten dollars shipped. Damn. It's on a necklace. I don't know how good it is, but ten dollars shipped. That's that ring that that uh, Bilbo Baggins or whatever wore or something. That's the precious. <laughs> yeah, that's damn good. And that's all for me for the first round. All right, thank you, Trini. Man, those are some great items, fans. He showed you a little bit of everything that you could be getting. If you were a subscriber to the band box, and if you want to subscribe to the band box, go check out the reviews that Jeremy, AKA Trinity Comics does on his channel. Check out his reviews. After you're done watching these awesome reviews he does of the band box, um, go in the video description below and he, I think he has his link to uh, get the band box. Or if he doesn't, you can ask him, he'll let you know what it is. Um, and he tells you the truth about the band box. I know Russ is a big uh, band box guy as well, but, um, they both, you know, tell the truth about Bandbox, if it's good, it's not, or if they thought it was crap or whatnot. And the cool thing is a lot of the Bandbox people, they do watch the YouTube reviews, you know, the people that work for Bandbox. So they do watch the reviews, and they try to improve uh, their product. Um, sometimes they actually do improve it. Sometimes <laughs> they try, and it just sucks again. But definitely some cool-ass items here if you're a fan of Star Trek, Joker, the Lord of the Rings, or even the uh, Ghostbusters. I mean, so much pop culture goodness in there. So, again, that is Jeremy30 at gmail.com. J E R A M I E 30 at gmail.com. So freaking cool, man. So freaking cool. All right. What we're going to do, let me get, um, let me go into the chat real quick. Check out the chat here. All right, we have, I just saw, oh, yeah, here we go. The Collector Having Fun. Thank you so much, Collector Having Fun. 27, he says, what's up, everyone? Comic Noob and Unboxing Brothers are, are talking about wrestling in there. PGH, PGH, man. Good to see you always. I'll, you know, I just mentioned him earlier. I check all his stuff out. He's got a variety of just great stuff on his channel. Um, we got Mr. Gretzky, 9966, one of the old school G's of the comic book community. All right. Man, this is awesome. So the chat is hopping. All right. Hopping and popping. Let me get uh, Big Bear's email lined up, and he'll be doing his 
round one with some of the greatest stuff you're ever going to see. <laughs> don't put too much pressure on me. <laughs> Norman over there with the, the skeleton. But anyway, Red Hat Tech at Comcast.net. You can find Big Bear and you can send your bids into Big Bear at Red Hat Tech at Comcast.net. Take it away, Big Bear. All right. I'm going to start out with a lot of the uh, Frankenstein from Marvel. We've got issue number one. Love now, that. Now, this is, this is a solid 7.0 cover. Um, it's done by Mike Klug. He's famous for doing a lot of horror stuff. Um, here is uh, issue number two. This one is in a nice 8.0 grade mm. for issue two. Awesome. I've got issue number four. No, that's, he's, also, that's, that's also he beating the crap out of everybody on there. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a cool cover. That's also Mike Plug. Uh That one is in about a 5.0. It's got a little, little, little piece missing on the back cover, but I mean, it doesn't affect any presentation in the front at all. Uh, we got another 8.0 copy. This is Frankenstein uh, number seven. And I believe this is a John Buscema cover. He started taking over some of the artwork. It, it wasn't all plug. A lot of people got their hands on this series. Uh, like this one here is John Romita. This is, oh. What happened? I went dark. Is everybody see it or yeah, I look dark? Still see you. you still see it? Yeah. Right. It's, yeah. it's kind of too bright. Now we it's too bright. We saw it really good. We right. saw it really good before. Yeah. I don't that's know what happened. My little thing went down. All right. Is that better? That looks yeah, great. Yeah, not better. All right. I like that. That one is uh, that one's number eleven. That's John Romita. Uh, I got number twelve. This one is Ron Wilson. So like, goes from one to another. This is a Ron Wilson cover. Frankenstein, and this is about a six, six and a half. This is number twelve. And I got number fifteen. This is Gil Kane. Awesome. Oh. And this one is about a six. Point five grade also. Yeah. So they're good. all around the mid-grade level, nothing near mint. Um, but these are very desirable books. And I'm going to sell the entire lot for a $40 shift. $40 for all of them. That's a good price. Um, yeah. Wow. Damn. All right. Next, I'm going to have some werewolf books. Uh, werewolf lot what's halloween without some werewolves oh yeah <laughs> i got a werewolf by night number 24 this is also gil kane damn all right then we have a lower grade book this one is about a four because it got some a big ass crease in the corner but it's a uh, werewolf by nine gil kane number 31 and no, the next book is not number 32. <laughs> Can't afford that one. That's the biggie. The Moon Knight. That's yes, the first Moon Knight. I got uh, Werewolf by Nine, number 34. This is also Gil Kane. And this also is a little bit more rare. This one has the uh, Mark Jewelers insert inside. Oh, that's cool. So this one is a little bit more rare. And I got a a 9.2 George Perez cover of Marvel Premiere number 46. This is an early Man Wolf cover. Oh. And this is George Perez. Did that? It's pretty man, cool. Those are some amazing. You're you're showing a lot of excellent artists tonight, man. That's good stuff. Last but not least is an old Dell. Uh, this one's from 1964. It's the uh, classic movie edition of The Wolfman. 
Oh my God! Look at that, Lon Chaney Jr. Yeah, it's got some sun shadows around the edges, but I mean, it's still a great read and it's still collectible. Uh, it's from that's the uh, movie classic. God, so man. Norm, how much should I sell these for? Nineteen forty-one. Norman likes it. <laughs> what do you think, Norm? How much? Norm said, this is going to be my Big Bears bargain basement blowout special. You won't believe this price. $10 shipped. Dang, $10 shipped. Lawn chain and like man. All right, Norm likes it. <laughs> Norm's about to pass out. Claude Rains <laughs> up in there. The, the movie, the damn, uh, what was it, the, the cane with the, the, the wolf head on it, the pentagram. Freaking Madam whatever her gypsy ass was and Bella Lugosi or son man. Yeah, yeah all those books starting out 10 bucks shipped hey, you know what? to me that's just covering the shipping so it was like me I'm giving these away or just about that's, so. that is that's <laughs> giving away fans you know all I gotta say about that is for every man who's pure in heart and says his prayers by night may become a wolf when the wolf bane blooms and the autumn moon is bright you gotta stick it up on that <laughs> That's Red Hat Tech, man. Red Hat Tech at Comcast.net. Red Hat Tech at Comcast.net. I mean, damn, that last one. You know, you, you're not going to really find that book in a lot of places because, man, those man. some of those Dells were just like, they're just hard as hell to find. They're, to find, they're really hard to find. Damn. I got um, one more legend, a, a graded book. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's see. All, Let's right. See. All right. This one is a uh, 9.0 Charlton 1972 Midnight Tales number one. And if you could look at it really closely, there is a body lying on a table and he's got feet on both sides. So there was somebody that's trying to do a Frankenstein screw the hell up. <laughs> that's great. Look at that cover. So, oh my yeah, God. you have to really look at it and you see it that uh Somebody did something wrong there. <laughs> that is. And then you get all kinds of uh, silly horror stuff in this book. It's really great. Well, if you can crack it up and open it. But <laughs> I, want to, I want to do that to this one. You ain't going to find a 9-0 on this. This is a hard. Charlton made some cheap paper, cheap everything. And to get a 9-0 is like getting a 9-8. Trust me. <laughs> yeah. All right. So <clears throat> this book, I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do 50 shipped on that one. Damn good. Oh, that's that awesome. Cover, that cover reminds me of that opening scene. I don't know if it's opening. It's uh, at the beginning of the movie on, uh, oh, man. Uh, what's the name of that movie? Human Monster Sh Squad. Monster Squad. Oh, Monster Squad. Right. <laughs> they go and it's got Abraham Van Helsing, and they going after the vampire, and he gets sucked into the portal and into the day. I thought man, that was awesome. That's what it reminded me of. I need to get that on Blu-ray, man, because Monster Squad, that's classic right there. <laughs> Wolfman's got gnats. <laughs> uh, yeah, I remember, I, I remember that. So, well, if you want to see some of those deals and you want to make some bids with Big Bear, uh, email Big Bear at redhattech at comcast.net, redhattech at comcast.net. Now, it, it's almost the end of round one, but not quite. I've got some stuff to show you tonight. Let me get my email pulled up so you can email me if you're interested in bidding on some of my stuff here. My email is rdaddy1 at gmail.com, rdaddy1 at gmail.com. First up, I've got a Funko Pop to show you. Uh-oh. It's a big one. It's the first Pop Rides. Oh, hell yeah. Pop oh, Rides. Yeah. Number one. The 1966 that will be. You can look in the background of the box itself. It's got a nice Gotham City cityscape coming at you live. Look a little close. You got the bat signal. And Batman is on his way to see Commissioner Gordon and Chief, or who's that other one? Chief O'Hara. And he's going to find out what, you know, Cesar Romero and Frank Gorshin and. Burgess Merida, Julie Newmar, and Otto Priminger, and all those old classics. Bookworm, old Roddy McDowell, 
all of them right there. So this is Pop Rides number one, still in the box. Um, the box on this side, you can kind of see that uh, it's kind of pulling apart right there. A lot of the Pop Ride boxes, they don't they don't stay at that. You know, they don't stay uh, stay put. The, the glue tears off, but it's still in the box. It's still taped on the top. Presents really well. If whoop, let me let me actually present it. Okay. Presents well if you want to put it on top of the bookshelf or take it out of the actual box and display it on your bookshelf. Look really sweet. Um, Batman 66, you know, they got the whole series now on DVD and Blu-ray complete series. They've got Warner Brothers has a Batman 66 animated uh, movie coming out on Blu-ray and DVD with the voices of Adam West, Burt Ward, and Julie Newmar. I'm definitely going to get that when it comes out. If it's not already out, it's going to be coming out pretty soon. So the opening price on the Batmobile, $20 free shipping. $20 free shipping. So if you don't have the Batmobile, you can get online, and you know they may you may find some people that sell it for twenty, but with the free shipping, you know you're actually getting a good deal with that. So twenty dollars free shipping. Next up, all you Popeye fans out there, and all you Bella Lugosi fans are gonna love this book. This book is hot. Um, well, I don't know if it's hot, but it's a low print run. It is from a publishing company here in Fort Worth, Texas, called MonsterVerse. And they do primarily like scary type horror comics and stuff. These are some of the ones that I've had for a while. I think these came out about 2012. And uh, they came out sporadically, like maybe every two months they would release one. They're really thick books. They're kind of like the books like Tales from the Crypt or um, Vault of Horror, you know, some of those old EC style books. Um, you know, the current books we have by IDW called uh, Haunted Horror, I think they are. Um, they're also similar. These kind of books have um, stories, three to four stories um, that are all scary, creepy stories. And usually there's a narrator in comic book form, a.k.a. Bella Lugosi, um, that kind of narrates the stories and gets you to one story to the next. Kind of like the Crypt Keeper. Uh, but this is Bella Lugosi's Tales from the Grave, issue number two right there. Issue number two. Let me give you the full view of the lower third off. We got Bella Lugosi's Tales from the Grave, issue number two, four ninety nine cover price. Beware the eye of the soul-stealing sailor. This is a cover by a guy by the name of Rick Baker. Rick Baker is a uh, Hollywood uh, makeup artist who does a lot of makeup for a lot of the horror movies you've seen. One of the ones I remember that he did recently, and I don't keep up with Baker very much, but he did Benicio Del Toro and Anthony Hopkins in The Wolfman. He designed the wolf head and stuff like that. Um, I want to tell you a little bit about this book because it's really freaking awesome. Um, a strange pop, pop, pop-eyed, his pop, his pop-eyed sailor. Pop-eyed sailor from a sunken ship after over 70 years. And all who look into his eye have their soul sucked out. Next story, there's a masked Mexican wrestler battles a chupacabra to rescue a lady in distress. Man, who wouldn't love a good masked luchador wrestler scary story? And then how about this one? Travelers from Earth land on a planet inhabited by teenage vampires. Ooh, that's pretty scary. How about this? A film historian sets out to find a lost horror film and discovers the secret of why it has never been seen by the public. So it also has Dr. Bornoff builds a mechanical man to help him conquer the world, and huge bats thought to be destroyed have apparently returned to wreak havoc on a small town once again. So you get a shit ton of stories in these. They're really thick books. You're going to get this in a mile like two mile R from E. Gerber, and you're going to get it with a Jeremy. There's a fullback in here. So these suckers are going to have fullbacks. This was, you know, part of my original return to comic book collecting. Cool-ass Popeye, Rick Baker. You're only going to see it here, and you really will only see it. If you look this up on eBay, you may find one, and it's not in good condition. This sucker right here, near mint, 9.4. Near mint, 9.4. Now, I'm starting this, $20 free shipping. But that's not all. When you purchase this, 
Start and bids, $20 free shipping. You are going to get this right here. You're going to get a very fine plus 8.5 tails from the grave number three. Bella Lugosi tails from the grave number three. This has three little um, indentions in there. Big Bear, what do you call them little indentions in there? Like in you got it, got it. Indentations, in non-color breaking, so you can press this out and get – this would easily be a 9.4. Press that out. you got a beautiful book there. But, you know, the whole thing about these books – Sure. Okay, sure. I, I would probably think after you read this, I would probably grade this because, you know, it probably would be worth something. But uh, these are it's a smaller publishing company out of Fort Worth, Monsterverse. So they got low print runs. And then you're going to get not only that issue three, you're going to get a very fine near mint 9.0 copy. Bella Lugosi Tales from the Grave, number one, the very first issue. And you're going to get the variant cover for the first issue. Bella Lugosi, Tales from the Grave, number one. All of these have a $4.99 cover price, except number three, dip down to a $3.99. So that's what you get. You get all of those bonus books when you bid on this book. $20, free shipping, Pop I, the soul-stealing sailor. He's going to be put in the graves, and he's really a danger. So that's kind of my round one. Let me show you my email again, rdowdy1 at gmail.com, rdowdy1 at gmail.com. Coming at you live with Legends Live Auction. And before we get into the round one review, I'm going to check the comments. Remember, rdowdy1 at gmail.com if you're interested in the Batmobile or the Bella Lugosi uh, Popeye issue two. And then you get issue one, one variant, and issue three, free as well. Free shipping, can't be beat, rdowdy1 at gmail.com. All right, so let me turn that off, lower third. Actually, I'll bring it back up while I check the old comments. We got some folks up in here. We got some folks up in here. All right, we've got Masked Marvel. He is late to the party, but he's here. We have HOC Comics. Jeremy, HOC says, I love Monster Squad. Kick him in the nards. Kick him in the nards. <laughs> Captain Dadpool's still here. Does Big Bear get my emails? I never... Here back on my bids. Well, we'll we'll see. Um, Big Bear's always checking his emails. Yeah, um, I just want to wait my turn. I didn't want to, you know. Yeah, he, he's going to wait his turn. We're going to get to the review now. Now, don't get too frisky because <laughs> uh, you don't want to. You don't, Deadpool. You don't want to give away over the uh, the chat that you're bidding because then you may have some competition. So it kind of works both ways. Aim High Comics. Thank you so much for still being here. Christian Collins, he is loving the deals. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. And Huey just wants to remind everyone, give it a thumbs up. <laughs> oh, man, I love me some Huey. He's really damn awesome. All right, so let's go over the reviews here. Let me get um, on to a guy by the name of Sarap25 at yahoo.com. Let me get that. Sarap, how's your bids going? Going pretty good. Uh, my super savings bid is up to twenty dollars right now. So this is up to twenty dollars. X Men one forty one started off at ten. Now it's at twenty. So get this great deal while you can. I'd say it's probably seven five or probably better. But who knows? Right now, that's the only one I have for its bids. Uh, I'm gonna do something special for everybody. But uh, everything I mentioned before, I'm gonna drop. By at least five dollars. So Damn. these two that were at twenty, gonna be at fifteen. The Archie Afterlife variant covers. And if I remember correctly, the first number one was selling for like twenty five by itself. It was fifteen yeah, dollars. Fifteen dollars. When those came out, that that was a, a, an expensive book to get, and that's a P boy variant, old P E B O Y. Can't remember his first name, but that's a good good deal. And I think uh, I had started this one at 20 if I'm looking at it. So this one's going to be 15 also. So $15. So everything, like I said, everything's going to be dropping out five. But the only thing I had bid it on is the X-Men. And I will do $5 off on this one also. So it'd be 55 That's awesome. So but like I said, that's probably going to grade higher than 8.0 because I can tell by it needs some pressing. So even the Omega Man 3, 9.8. Let's go 135. That's a $200 book. 
find some damn good deals. That's the Rock 25 at Yahoo.com. How about you, Trina? You got any bids yet for some of the band box gear? Nope. No bids yet. That's all right, though, man. You know how sometimes the auctions run a little slow, you know. People people buying that Halloween candy. Just taking that, spending their money on their Halloween candy out there. <laughs> Big Bear, how's your uh, bids coming along? Well, I have I have that uh, one bid on the uh, Wolfman lot. Sweet. Or that is up to $11. Nice. Damn good. It still almost just barely covers shipping, so let's go, guys. Yeah, come on. <laughs> let's see some more bids. <laughs> All right. Let me check them comments one more time here. We got Amy. Everyone's still there having a great time. It's good to see everyone here in the auction tonight. Before we start round two, I'm going to get back in there and get uh, – Russ's email updated. So, rock25 at yahoo.com. And we are going to go ahead and start round two. So, there's his email right there. So, rock25 at yahoo.com. And this is round two. Take it away, Russ. All right, round two. We're going to start with some a key issue. Key issue up on the board. We have some Black Panther first appearance. Uh, Fantastic 452. I would grade it at a three or to a three five. Uh, in my video, I stated out it has a lot of spine issues. Um, has a major fold that breaks color, like right here. Cover still attached. The centerfold still attached. Everything's still attached. I flipped through it myself, looking at it, uh, reading through it. But uh, this is one I think if you really want this book, I would get it graded. Uh, you probably would look at it maybe once and then send it out for grading. Uh, cause it, I mean, even with that little issue, I think, uh, the cover still looks very well and the colors are good, but, uh, this has a lot of spine wear on the edges and everything else. So this starting bid will be $170, so $170 for this key issue that you probably can pay 200 or more for a graded copy that might not be that look as good as this. <laughs> That's awesome. So first Black Panther, get it before his movie comes out and it probably jump up again. So mm -hmm. That's a damn good deal right there. Black Panther's first appearance. You can't beat that. You you got to jump on that train because once that movie comes out, that, that price is going to get insane. Yeah, you're correct about that because uh, it's already high now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, this book here is... Strange Tales 180 featuring Warlock. And if people know about the history of this book, somebody makes the first appearance in this book. And the first appearance of Gamora is in this book. It has some color issues here, like a loss of color, but no, like no breakage or anything. Actually, all the corners look excellent. Everything looks great with this book. I don't know how it would grade with that little bit of color loss, I think, at the top. But, I mean, it's a beautiful book. I mean... I, it's hard for me, like it's hard. Like I say, I always say it's hard for me to grade, but I mean, I could see maybe a seven five, probably probably even higher to eight five. So I try to get that big range. But this is a beautiful book if you want the first appearance of Gamora, another first appearance. Mm -hmm. I will start the bidding at thirty dollars. So thirty dollars for this key issue before their movie comes out again for Guardians of the Galaxy two. So thirty dollars for a first appearance of Gamora. That's awesome. And I will do – this is going to be my Super Saving Slab price. So everybody get ready for the Super Saving Slab price. This is going to be East of West, number one, CGC 9.8, white pages. This will be starting out bidding at $30. $30 and holla. <laughs> so $30 for this, no issues with the case. Case is in beautiful condition. Uh, free shipping, like I said, on all my stuff. And uh, like I said before in the earlier, earlier beginning of the video, if you want to pay through PayPal and not friends and family, just add the 3% fees. $30 will be a starting bid for that book. That's awesome. All right. That was two, three. I have one more, another first appearance key issue. I will just do one more and then I will turn it over to the next person. So this one is his Netflix series just came up. 
starting bid mm -hmm. for this will be 150. So I guess you already know who that is if you know Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> so this would be Heroes for Hire number one, Luke Cage. I would say a five five to a six zero, oh. and uh, like I said, one hundred fifty dollars. And what did you say, Jeremy? Sweet, Sweet Christmas. Christmas. Yep, that's a great <laughs> price. But uh, I definitely I could use a Luke definitely Cage shirt. <laughs> look at it! Look at it! We promote some Luke Cage. Look, it definitely could use a pressing, so it probably could be higher than a six zero. Oh, I would grade it at, but mm. it's never been pressed any of that stuff. Um, one hundred fifty dollars starting bid. Get you some Luke Cage in your life. Everybody needs some Luke Cage. Power Man, baby. That's a damn good book. <laughs> <laughs> and I will end it on that note. I have, I think I have a couple more left, but I'll save those for the last round. Awesome. Last <laughs> round. <laughs> that final round. So, Sarap25 down below. You've seen some great books from him tonight. All kinds of stuff. The Andrew, Andrew P-Boy variants of Art Afterlife with Archie, which those books on the eBay – Go for pretty a pretty good price. I mean, that's some damn good art. Um, and to get those two, like, in a set like that, it's just freaking sweet. It's Rob25Yahoo.com. You saw Gamora. You saw Black Panther. You saw freaking uh, Luke Cage, Power Man. I mean, a lot of great books there. Not only just – they're not just, like, great books. I mean, they're history. So you Also, know, you to add in that legend, I will be throwing in – if somebody buys one of my slab books, like I always oh. say, I send a print. Oh yeah, print, sign print with all my slab books. So if you buy a slab book, I throw in a sign print. And in my final round, I'm gonna go over my slabs again, and I have one more slab to show in my final round. And it's gonna be a good. It's gonna be a good one. Uh, yep. Just to give a hint to the next round, so people can get ready. It's going to be. He's gonna have a, a Netflix show soon. So. Awesome. <laughs> Damn, I can't wait. That's gonna be cool right there. So sir, check him out. Sirop 25, man. Sirop 25, he got some good books. He keeps up a lot with uh, prices of the books, the, the stuff that gets hot. You just got to call on Sirop. <laughs> All right, let me get Jeremy's email ready to go. We're going to move along with the show. All right. So we got Jeremy 30. Jeremy 30 at gmail.com, man. I tell you. Jeremy, welcome back to the show. It's Legends Live Auction Round 2. All right. Now, speaking of prints, Russ, you got me on this print train right here. <laughs> I'm going to show this one. This is another one from Bound Box. I actually thought about keeping this one, but I decided to throw it up for y'all. This is a Bound Box exclusive Darth Vader not wanting to wake up. <laughs> He's wearing the Ewok slippers. Uh <laughs> Is signed and limited to only 500 with a BAM box certificate of authenticity. $10 shift if you want it. Nice. That's cool. And now the two big items that I have left, I'm actually, this one right here, I've, I've researched this price. This won't be $10 shipped. I'm sorry, folks. But this one right here, I looked it up, was selling for $40 on eBay. I'm going to sell you this one right here. The FYE exclusive metallic Harley and Joker two pack. Boxes in mint condition. And I'm going to sell this for $30. And if you buy this tonight for $30, I will throw in a print of Harley Quinn. Signed, wow. by, signed by the, is another limited to 500 and it's signed by the author, and it's got a bound box certificate of authenticity. And I suspect this well, that, that they send it in is Mylar. So that's just oh, a hell yeah. <laughs> But these are 30 ship. I'll show this again because this was – these FYE two-packs, they sell out really fast. And then they, like, they shoot up real high in price on eBay. This was selling for 39 plus shipping. On eBay, I looked at it. So this one's 20, uh, 35, 30 shipped with, and I'll throw in this print too. This, it's a sketch print. It's a variant. And the biggest item that I will be showing off tonight, I'm going to sell this one. You can't get this nowhere else. This is a one of a kind. Come from the bound box. I'll let it go. Original art sale from the cartoon Shira. 
and you can see it's got the production markings that tell them what's going to be clear, what's going to be flash colored. You can see all that. Comes with a bound box certificate of authenticity. I'll show that. Damn, awesome. You can, it's a one of a kind. You cannot find another one like it anywhere in the world. One of a kind. And I'll sell it for 25 shipped. Damn, that's a good deal right there. I'll put it I'll put it up again just so you can see it. This was actually used in the making of the cartoon Shira back in the day. Yeah. Really right. cool. She was awesome. And that's the last item I have for, for this. Oh, man, that's some damn good items in round two. From I, I tell you what, if, if anybody's into it, if you buy one of the items that I showed tonight, I'll throw in this. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. All you Doctor it's Who fans, there you go. It's, a, it's an actual real license plate. Damn. That's cool right there, Jeremy, man. That's some Jeremy30 at gmail.com, Trinity Comics, tons of good items, Funko goodness. You know, you get that print with Joker and Harley, Metallic, the FYE. You also get a signed print with COA, Certificate of Authenticity. And, man, he even got a damn license plate to go. <laughs> so that is damn cool. Well, let me get uh, the next up. We'll have Big Bear. Let me get his uh, – Email up real quick, redhattech at comcast.net, redhattech at comcast.net. That's Big Bear's email, and this is Big Bear in round two. All right, continuing with the Halloween theme, it's midnight, the witching hour. This mm. is a DC horror book, and I have a lot of uh, one, two, five books. This is number... 28, and look at that skull with the Santa Claus there. This is, all of these are Nick Cardi covers. Cool. And uh, these are in about mid-grade. These are about 6, 6.5 grades. Um, let's see, we got issue number 33. This is a lower grade. This is probably a BG. This is also Nick Cardi. That witch there. Some really good drawing. As you can see, some color break increases and some spine ticks. So, this is the lowest grade I got on that series. Then we go back into a nicer grade. This is about a six and a half, seven. Also, mm -hmm. Nick Cardi. And we got a we got the man with no face. <laughs> the witching hour. That's awesome. It's one of my favorite horror series from DC. Let's see. We got also number 42 with a vampire cover. Mm. God, that looks good. That's also Nick Cardi. And that one is uh, about a, another six and a half, seven. And we got a uh, Nick Cardi stopped doing it. And then we got, um, we got a Luis Dominguez cover. And this is issue number 70, and it's an easy 8.0 on that one, if not better. We got some ant, ant guys taking them to their hive. <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, those ants. <laughs> so those five books, 30 bucks shipped. On wow. that. Now I got some more Charlton goodness. Now these are all number ones. From uh, the Charlton Horror Series, which I, I love. You got Scary Tales, number one. Damn, I like that. That's cool. She got that whip. Yeah. <laughs> and I got Scary Tales, number two. These are all one and twos on this. And got some skeletons, just like Norm. Right, Norm? And then Norm sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got um, Monster Hunters number one. Oh, wow, that's a big old monster on there. Yeah. That's a key first issue. And my favorite, my favorite is Creepy Things number one. 
<laughs> Look at that old scary frog. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. That's creepy things number one, Charlton. So all those four Charltons, I'll do uh, 25 shift on that. Oh, that's awesome. And remember, those are all one, number one issues. Uh, and then I have, I just brought out this, um, since it was like Halloween-ish. This is a graded 9.8 Hellstorm, Prince of Lies, number mm. one. Wow, that's a damn cool cover. Yeah. What's even cool about it, it's, um, it's called Parchment Wraparound Cover with red thermographic ink. So For blood. <laughs> so here, you can check out the back on that. It's pretty cool. Yeah, look at that. That's and, so then, and you got yourself a nice 9.8 right here. Oh, man. And this is going to be my Big Bear's Bargain Basement Blowout 2. Um, $25 shipped. Good God, 25 That's yep. damn good. Yep. It's going to cost me 10 to ship it. So, guys, come on. You want this? You want this book? $25 shipped. 9 8 you're not gonna get a nine eight. <laughs> yeah. Nine eight. Right. Those are damn rare to find. And that's it for round um, two. That's awesome. That's some damn good round two right there. Oh man! All right. Let's see here. So if you want some of those great bills, man, Hellstorm nine point eight, Marvel Comics nine point eight, white gleaming white blood parchment paper, everything. <laughs> Red Hat <laughs> Tech, .net. So freaking awesome. That's damn cool. All right, let's see what I have for round two. Let me change the email real quick here. All right, so my email is rdowdy1 at gmail.com. Um, let's see what I have for some round two goodness here. All right, let me see. Oh, yeah, I remember. Okay, I've got a Funko here, a Funko Pop. San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, San Diego Comic-Con international exclusive, 2014, limited to 2,500 pieces, glow in the dark, Walter White in the hazmat suit. Walter White in the hazmat suit, limited to 2,500 of these pieces, glows in the dark. You're going to get this bad boy. $20 shipped. You're also going to get the pop stack, the hard acrylic case. Um, also, let me show you one defect of this. It's not in mint condition. Um, I try to keep it all in mint condition, but this one had a little bit of problem on the box. Let me show it to you. Let me take it out. And whenever the guys were um, unboxing them, you can kind of see there is a... Uh, line right there so it's like the box cutter when it cut through the uh, shipping box it got a little close to the box so the box has like a straight edge going across um, it didn't mess up anything as far as inside the figure and the little uh, bubble plastic inside it's perfectly fine but it is I want to you know be accurate on the descriptions like if you have to have mint condition or whatnot there's a little uh, split right there along the top. But $20 free shipping, limited to 2,500 pieces. San Diego Comic-Con International exclusive from 2014. Glow-in-the-dark Walter White hazmat suit. I mean, freaking awesome. Let me get this because the damn thing didn't go in the box properly. Put that down a little bit there. Coming out of the box, and it's going to be coming in your hands. This is $20. Free shipping, Walter White. Let me show them to you again. You also get the uh, acrylic case, which these acrylic cases usually run about 10 bucks themselves. Uh, free shipping, probably going to cost me like 6 to 10 bucks to ship it to you. So, you know, you're practically getting this for free with an acrylic case to boot. $20 shipped, limited to $2,500. Glow in the dark, Walter White hazmat suit. Freaking That's awesome. That's an outstanding price, if I say so myself. Yeah, thank you, Jeremy. You know, we know our pop vinyls. If you go to Pop Price Guide, I think this is 20 bucks on Pop Price Guide right now. And, you know, I try to go a little under 
when I sell pops um, off the price guides and off eBay. I have not checked eBay for this, um, but like I said, it's 20 on pop price guide. You'll probably find people trying to sell it higher. I think it's honestly only worth 20, but you get the acrylic case and you get the free shipping. So it's a great deal. Next up, we have another pop vinyl. Breaking Bad, baby. You know the Breaking Bad pops are all the rage. We have another Funko San Diego Comic-Con International Exclusive 2014. Uh, 2,500 pieces. You get Jesse Pinkman. But what's so different about this Jesse Pinkman? Well, it is Jesse Pinkman, but he's beat the hell up. Blood <laughs> on his shirt. Swollen eye shut. Black eye, just all beat up looking on here. Look on the back's really funny. You can actually see a Jesse in bed right there, all beat up after the, the boys beat his ass. And this one I'm selling to you right here. $50. $50 free shipping with pop stack uh, acrylic case. You get the case as well. Um, this goes on pop price guide. For 60 bucks, but I'm uh, lowering it for 50. You get free shipping and you get the case with it to boot the beat up Jesse Pinkman. So if you're a fan of Breaking Bad, pick this bad boy up. Really cool, awesome figure. Like I said, limited to uh, 2,500 uh, pieces. So that's not a lot of Jesse's out there that are beat up like that. So 50 bucks um, on this Jesse, and then 20 on the uh, glow in the dark. Uh, Walter White uh, hazmat suit, free shipping, and acrylic cases to boot. And that's all I have uh, for round two. And uh, so we'll kind of go over everyone. I'll go ahead and go first. Let me refresh. I don't have any emails, but that's okay because what I'll do, you can uh, bid on these later throughout the week. Um, I'll have these, um, you know, on hand. Um, some of my comic books I may put on eBay Um and you, you know, but if you watch the video and I haven't sold these comics yet, I'll keep those comics at, at the price they are, you know, if you email me or something like that. So also no emails on the Batmobile either, um, but that's okay. So let me go ahead and look at my email. It's r.e1 at hotmail.com. No, it's r.e1 at gmail, gmail.com. I got a lot of different email, r.e1. So I got my gmail.com is the one I check all of my bids on. All right, so let's go ahead and let's go on over to Sarap25 at yahoo.com. Russ, how's your bids going in the end of round two? Pretty good. Uh, this one's holding at $30. Sweet. Ship, uh, east of west, uh, number one. Great. And, uh, and like um, Big Bear said, this is about $10 to get shipped. So, <laughs> yeah. So let's uh, bump this up. So, $30 with free shipping. Um, only other one I have is my other low price book, X Men 141, is at $20. Excellent. And everything else is uh, still uh, no bids. Uh, somebody had emailed me about this, uh, about doing trades. Uh, at this time, I'm not doing any trades. But uh, if you message me in the Facebook group, uh, Blast of Stash, it, maybe later on, if I still have it available, we can. Uh, work on a trade or something, but uh, at this time, I'm not looking for any trades. And that is it. That's some awesome deals from Sarap25 at yahoo.com. Now we're going to go over and talk with our boy Trinity, a.k.a. Jeremy. Jeremy, man, how are the bids? Any bids coming in yet? Man, I ain't got nothing. <laughs> well, you know what? But I will say, Russ might not trade, but I will trade everything I got. Hell <laughs> yeah. It's got some stuff to trade. You know, hit up Jeremy at his email or uh, send him a private message over uh, YouTube or even check Jeremy out at the uh, Blaster Stagic Facebook page because that's pretty much we're there like every day anyway, you know, just chatting about comics and collectibles and, and, and all that good stuff. So yes, that's a okay, Jeremy. Let's go to Big Bear. Big Bear, how are you doing at the end of round two? You and Norm. I'm, me and Norm are pretty slow tonight. I still only got the 11 bucks on the, on the werewolf lot. Yeah. And, um, that's it. I mean, I just want to review that there is still this Frankenstein lot that has issues one, two, four, 
seven, eleven, twelve, and fifteen for only forty bucks, you get That's number one and two at decent grades. Mm -hmm. Forty bucks, you're That's getting awesome. all these. So I just wanted to review that. You're getting a uh, one, two, three, four, five. You're getting seven Frankenstein books. Yeah, forty bucks. That's a good deal. That is, and you know, anyone out there that's trying to complete that run, or you're interested in completing that run, hit up Big Bear and start completing that run now with those hot issues. Man. Well, yeah, if you just want to start a run, this is a good way to start. Good starting point, man. Awesome. All right. What we're going to do, let me go uh, change the email back to Russ, and we'll start our final round here. Yahoo, Sarab25 at Yahoo.com. And uh, what I'm going to do, <coughs> Russ, I'm going to check the comments real quick. Okay, no problem. Um, see what's shaking. I'm telling everyone thanks for watching the show tonight. Chatting with the fans, mm -hmm. chatting with the subs. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank y'all so much again for watching. Bruce Zayas and Huey, two guys that have met each other in real life at a con. They're talking about meeting up again. They can be like Cable and Deadpool. Uh, actually, we have Dadpool in the comments. Dadpool, thanks for coming out tonight. Thank you for your compliments on our great show tonight. Um, like Trinity said in there, you know, hit him up if you're uh, looking for a trade. Mask Marvel says, sweet Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you all so much for watching. Aim high, Brandon. We need you back on here, man. If, you, if those Conans need a home, you know, you can always come. Come with us on here live. And Collector having fun, 27. He's just chilling right now. Oh, yeah, and can't forget Vincent Price as Egghead. That's right. Vincent Price as Egghead, one of the greats uh, on Batman um, 66. Very cool. And I need to find out um, if Egghead was ever in any of the other Batman comic books. Like, what is Egghead's first appearance in comics? Because if his first appearance in comics is that new Batman 66 comic that came out a couple years back, I got it. But I'm not sure I have to look into that. You never know, Egghead could be making a comeback. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome if Egghead somehow was in a damn Batman movie or, you know, something silly like that. But anyway, Serap 25, this is the final round. What you got for us? Mm. Like I said before, I'm going to show this one early. This is Iron Fist number one, all white to white paper. Oh. 9.2 CGC. Oh my God. Damn. CGC 9.2. This is on him. He's fighting Iron Man. I, I kind of, I love, I really like this color. But punching Iron Man in the chest. Damn. Right there. Case is in perfect condition. Uh, Iron Man. This is Iron. This is Iron Fist battles Iron Man. This is Chris Claremont, Gail Kane cover, and John Byrne and L. McWilliams art. Look who's smiling now. <laughs> so this book right here is, I would say, very key issue. You might want to get before that TV show comes out and the Defenders. But I will start the bidding at. Uh, I would say a semi-low price. I mean, because I think they're over two hundred dollars for this book on eBay, but I'm gonna go one sixty-five starting bid. One sixty-five, nine point two, Iron Fist number one, hitting Iron Man. Oh, that's so cool! And if you want this book and the Heroes for Hire, just message me and we can work out a com combined deal. <laughs> a little combo deal. I like that. Uh, this <clears throat> other one, I look like I'm showing a lot of first appearances, but this is like if the movie if they do anything with this guy in a the movie then expect this book to probably triple but um, this is Thor 225 first appearance of I'm pretty sure it was Fire Lord damn um, this is, this I recently got from a, a collector who's collected I would say Fantastic Four, Thor, and Captain America, and I'm not sure about what anything else, but they came straight from this original owner. Mm. And all of these books, if you look at these books, I mean, what issues do you see with this book? 
<laughs> I think I saw like one spine tick somewhere. So I'm mm. not going to say what the grade is for this book, but I could easily say a 9 0. <laughs> Probably better. Um, color pops very well for this age of a book. Um, I'm going to start the bidding for because this book I've seen up for weird prices on eBay, but they don't think they have such a beautiful copy as this. So I will start it at $45 starting bids. That's sweet. Because uh, I've seen the graded ones of uh, like a 9 0 and higher, probably in the hundreds. And, mm -hmm. You know, higher. I think I saw a 9 6 at two three hundred dollars So I'm not saying this would be a 9 6, but I mean, this is a very good candidate. <laughs> That's so, beautiful. I think I said forty five dollars starting bid, so and my last but not least, this is two books. I'm probably and I'm gonna do hate to say it, eBay prices on these because I'm actually I actually wanna keep these and probably get them signed if I can. Mm -hmm. And if you follow me on the Facebook page, you probably know what these I'm about to show. So that's the color one. Ooh. Uh Deadpool. Black was it back in black? Back in black. <laughs> <laughs> this is a yeah. K R S comics. Uh, I want to say uh, Tyler Kirkman Kirkham. Oh, oh, um, and this is the variant. God, that is so cool. At three thousand of the color and fifteen hundred of the black and white cover. Dang, that's low print on that. Yes. Like, uh, is that like the variant cover of like issue one? Yes. Damn. The that cover of issue one and of the black and white. This is the color. I, I mean, I, the low. This one's the lower print one, but I like this. I, I mean, because this looks amazing with color. Good God Almighty! I mean, like comic book art gets better every year. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I've seen somebody selling this on Instagram for one hundred and ten dollars. So I'm going to start at one hundred and ten dollars. Yeah. So that's amazing color. <laughs> I'll do I'll, like. I think who that's the first person I ever seen give Instagram prices. <laughs> oh yeah, me too. <laughs> that's the first appearance, folks. You saw it here live. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I haven't looked it up on eBay, so that's why I'm doing the Instagram price. <laughs> that, is that so? That's the first time where the Deadpool gets the black venom costume. No, no, I think they actually this is a redone because I think they did it before where he got the black, he got the, the venom costume. costume. But yeah. that's why that's why I think it's called Back in Black. Oh, okay, so that's yeah. the sequel to the, the the other time. Yeah. So like this is the number one though. So it's like uh, I guess a new story of it. But damn, I like it. That's so cool. And it's, uh, I'm only selling them together. So if you try to say, oh, can I just get that one for a lower price? No, one ten for both is the starting bid. If you want them, start bidding. <laughs> yeah, you definitely need to buy those now because, like you said. If he holds them too long, and when that guy comes to a con, he's going to get them signed. After he gets them signed, he's probably going to get them graded that same day. And then if he does decide to sell them after that, it's going to be real high because those it's, are some sweet uh, books. It's going to probably be like the – I want to say uh, – who's the guy that draws all the characters look like kids and stuff? Uh, um, Scotty Young. Scotty Young, yeah. Scotty Young did a Deadpool – I think it was a Deadpool uh, Venom cover. And uh, that one – Nine, eight, five hundred dollars all day. So, damn. Yeah. So, and that's for an unsigned one. So, yeah. I think that one looks better than Scotty Younger ones, in my opinion. Uh huh. Yeah, man, that's gonna be so freaking awesome. And I think I think that is it uh, for that. But just a quick update: this is still at thirty dollars. Uh, the East or West and the X Men is still at twenty. So, that is a uh, holding and. Um, going to do, I'm going to do something a little crazy, Legend. Five more dollars. Five more dollars off on the Omega Man 3, so I think I said 135. Now it's 130. <laughs> 130 for Lobo. <laughs> that's good. So that is it. That's the final, that's the final final drop price of Lobo, and after this auction, it will not be for that price anymore, and I'm probably going to sell it to the guy on eBay for 150. So <laughs> Yeah, so you're not going to see Lobo again once the damn auction is over. That's all the Lobo you're going to find. <laughs> that is it. All right. Good to go. That was that was it. Let me get Mr. Uh, Jeremy's email pulled up one more time. It's the classic Jeremy30 
at gmail.com. Let me get that ready. And we're going to go to Jeremy here and uh, we're going to see what he has. And then I'll check chat here in a little while. So Jeremy 30. Jeremy 30. So there's the email. This is for Jeremy's email. Um, check down uh, below Jeremy's email. And also, all three of these guys, I'm scratching my ankle right now. So that's why I'm kind of off camera. But yeah, all three of these guys have great YouTube channels, a lot of great content on their channels. Um, the video descriptions are below in the uh, – their links are below in the video description as we speak. So at any time during this live auction, remember, fans, the live auction is brought to you by um, Paul's Pressing and Cleaning Service. Go to the GoFundMe page. Throw a couple of bucks if you can. He's got some great rewards. You know, if you donate so much money, you get some free pressing and some free cleaning services from Paul, our very own Blaster Stash. It's Midwest comic man so jeremy30 at gmail.com what do we got in the final round in the final round i don't have any i don't have them right here with me but i have them they're over there they're in a stack i can get them out yep. but i have the entire civil war funko pop collection including giant man Damn. and i will sell them all individually for ten dollars plus about two or three dollars for shipping just to make sure you know but mm -hmm. if you buy them all, I will cut you a tremendous deal. It's like 15 of them. And if you buy them all together, I will sell them to you for $100 free shipping. That is so damn cool. All of those damn the Civil War movie, awesome movie. Um, if you want to see pictures of them, I've seen them. He does have them. You can actually go to the Blaster Stash at, uh, Facebook page. And you can see he posted those uh, pictures on that page, which is really cool. Um, and I've got that link to the Blaster Statue Facebook page, fans. That's down below in the video description as well. So definitely uh, check that out. Um, so so that, okay, that's can I ask a question? So, Jeremy, that's, that deal is like buy. So there's like 15 of them. So it's like buy 10, get five free. Yep. Okay, I just, want, I just want everybody to understand that. So if you get all yeah. of them, it's like buying 10 and getting five free that if you go to the store, you got to pay probably $50 plus tax. Yeah. Okay. So. Oh, Giant Man, I paid 17 for him. Okay, he's like $20 and, by himself. Yeah, and then uh, these are including like the, uh, the Iron Man that I have. It's not the regular Iron Man. It's the Hot Topic Iron Man with his, with his face mask up. Okay, so that that's, like a, that's, like, yeah, that's like a fifteen dollar one. Yeah. yeah, and some of them I have like a the reason it's fifteen is I have like all the crossbones variants, all the Black Panther variants, and all the uh, I think it's like two Captain Americas in there. Wow, Damn, yeah. I just want everybody to know what all they're getting. You know, if they do it all instead of just getting one or two. Yeah, that's an awesome deal. That's jeremy30 at gmail.com. And like I said, go to the video description below. Check out the Blaster Stash at Facebook page. You can see all of those uh, pops that he's been talking about. Um, man, he's going to make you a sweet deal if you buy them all, man. And then you save on the shipping as well. And I will say this. If you buy anything that I got here, I'll try to throw some, little, some free goodies in there with it. You know, make it interesting for you. I can't tell you what it'll be because – it's a mystery. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a surprise. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. On Legends Live Auction, a lot of the sellers, they be throwing in some extra goodies. You know, now they ain't going to do it all the time. But, you know, sometimes it's a treat because they'll send something sweet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Let me get Big Bear's email down real quick, and we're going to move on to Big Bear in the final round. Always, Red Hat Tech at Comcast.net. Him and Norm are standing by. Well, Norm went back to the grave, so we're all done. <laughs> oh, okay, Norm did leave. <laughs> <laughs> Red Hat Tech at Comcast.net. All right, I got a Twilight Zone run. Uh, everybody loves the Twilight Zone with Rod Serling. This is back uh, the old – the old um, Whitman and Gold Key run. This is uh, Twilight Zone number 78. Mm. And then we got Twilight Zone 76. 
all this. These are all mid to high grade books. Again, they're around between six and seven point oh. That's history. I love Dale and Whitman. Here's a gold key, Twilight Zone sixty eight. This one is in very fine condition. Look how good that looks. And we got Twilight Zone. This one is the beat up one of the bunch. This is number 60. That looks really good though. Well, you know, I see it's, it's got a little, you like see the waves on top? Yeah, it's a little bit yeah. crunched there. Yeah. But well, that's the low, that's the low end one. That's then cool. we go back into another nice one. This is uh, number 38. Ooh, look at that Skull Grim Reaper cover. Yeah. You made a deal with death. It's so cool. And Twilight Zone number 35. This is an 8.0 easily. It's a beautiful cover. Yeah, that looks really good. And the last one, we got Twilight Zone 34. It's about a 6.0. God, that's a freaky cover. That girl riding the rocking horse <laughs> looked like a <laughs> Shirley, demon Shirley. <laughs> and all those Twilight Zones, um, thirty bucks shipped on that lot. Damn, that's just an excellent way. Like, like if you're out there and you want to get some of those cool, creepy Twilight Zone stories, I used to watch them on reruns as a kid. That, and then I watched following after that. It would have Alfred Hitchcock presents. And those shows were, yeah, those black yeah, and white I would, shows. I would watch awesome. those. I'd stay up late on a school night. My grandmother used to watch us. My dad worked two jobs. I'd stay at my grandmother's. We had a little, little TV in the room. I'd, be, I'd watch those shows. Yeah, <laughs> when they had a marathon, I was there all day and all night <laughs> watching those shows because I didn't even have a VCR back then. So I had to sit there and you had to watch them when they had them on. <laughs> I know. That was it. I, we didn't have a VCR back then either. It's good stuff. All right, so for the kiddies out there and uh, the um, the uh, Harvey fans, I got a one shot from 1979, Casper the Friendly Ghost Halloween Trick or Treat. Come on now, that's perfect timing. And the the best thing about this book, this is a near mint copy of a kid's book. I mean, so how many times do you find that? And this is uh so I'm selling that for ten bucks ships for that one. Amazing deal. That's and, someone can grade that and get nine point four or higher. Yeah, also it's like the it's a UNICEF tie in. It says Halloween is for a UNICEF day when kids help kids. Oh, that's good. Yeah. See that's so, how America was back in the day. Yeah. Kids helping other kids. Being yeah. good to each other. So that one's a good deal. Only ten bucks shipped on that. And then last but not least, I'm going to show some kind of key because uh, it doesn't look like my horrors are doing too well. So let's we'll do this one that I had last week. Mm -hmm. We're going to do uh, the New Gods number seven, the first appearance of Steppenwolf. No, not the rock band, but the the character that's going to appear in the DC Justice League of America next movie. He's going to be the main baddie. In that film, I got a solid 6.0 on that. Not too bad for a key issue. And um, I'm going to sell that $80 shipped on that. Sweet. Now, that's old Steppenwolf, right? Yeah, the Steppenwolf. <laughs> Jack Kirby cover, right? It's Jack Kirby written and drawn by Jack Kirby. See, people, y'all need to get on there. Like, Jack Kirby in the 70s going to D.C. Damn. Damn. That's just awesome. I love the. I just love Jack Kirby. <laughs> I love the king. <laughs> that wraps it up. All right. Well, that's freaking cool. That is awesome. So, Casper the Friendly Ghost, Steppenwolf, the Twilight Zone. Man, that's some good stuff right there. I love that stuff. Um, let me get my email. I've got one more item to show you during the final round, and then we'll kind of go and look at everything and check all the emails and all that good stuff um, let me get that for you there we go now our daddy one at gmail.com coming at you live I got one more book to show and this is gonna be 
my last book right here. This is, and uh, Jeremy was talking about this today, and Russ was interested in this book today as well. <laughs> we was talking about this on our little hangout. Fantastic Four, number five. Annual number five. <laughs> you don't know <how> to do. <laughs> this is annual number five. Very cool book. Let me get it out real quick. I've got it in a four mil archive there. I don't know why. I think I just got that free from somewhere. A little My Light 2. Very awesome book. King Size Special. This is their annual number five. And let me go over what the heck is in this book. It is from November 1967. We got a lot of stories. You know, the end of the year, they had a lot of stories in them. We got Divide and Conquer. I think that is the Psycho Man right there. Psycho Man, ready to make his move against the world. The only thing he needs to do is first assemble his ray. You know, back in the 60s, sci-fi was all the rage. and They had ray guns, and that shit was awesome. And uh, <laughs> just a damn good book. There's a, a comedic strip about the Marvel bullpen where you actually get a Stan Lee and a uh, Roy Thomas is in the comic, you know, kind of hanging out in a little fun comic in, inside a comic. But all the characters in this book, you get your Black Bolt, you get Black Panther, you get uh, Medusa, you get Crystal, Gorgon, Invisible Woman. Um, oh, Jack Kirby's in the book too in the bullpen. Karnak, Livewire, of course, you got to have Lockjaw. I don't think he's on the cover. But, you know, pretty much all the Inhumans, Mr. Psycho, and even Silver Surfer has a uh, special bonus, the Silver Surfer. He's got a complete feature link thriller in this book. It's called The Peerless Power of the Silver Surfer. He responds to um, powerful and tragic emotions and discovers the remnants of Quasimodo, the living computer. So... This book is awesome. This is, let me get this out. This is a really high grade for an old 1967 book. Um, let me pull this book out of the bag. I do want to show you one thing I noticed about this book. Um, it has, I don't know if you can see it in the light or not, but it has a little bit of uh, waviness near the, uh, the spine a little bit. It's very hard to see on the screen. Oh, right there. That's kind of perfect. It kind of comes from a little bit off the spine. And I think that has to do with just how the way this book is done. This book is one of those giant size books, so it's the thicker uh, thicker binding. Um, and if you look, got a little piece of hair on there. Um, the staples come through the book um, there and then over here. And then on the front, any y'all y'all have seen these kind of books before? You can see the staples there. And it's weird. And here's the thing. On the spine itself, it gets kind of warped in there. See how it's kind of like it, lo it looks like it's getting skinnier up there. And the reason I want to show you this, it looks like the, the, the cover's wrapped kind of funky. And also there's a little indention up near the top here. So I don't know if that is from the manufacturing of the book. Or if this was restored and someone tried to glue it back down at the top. I can't really tell. Um, it could be. I'm not really sure. So I don't know if this is restored or not. So you'll buy that at your own peril if you decide to buy this book. But it presents really well. There's no ripped pages. Um, beautiful inside artwork. Ooh, there's a pinup pin of crystal. So hot, so sexy. Got the marble bullpen in there. I think Jack Kirby uh, and Roy Thomas. Let's see, is that who it is? Yeah, it's, it's the bullpen. It's a real funny story, and it has the bullpen characters dressed up as superheroes and stuff, and Joggernaut even comes inside the bullpen, the marble bullpen. So beautiful book with the weird waviness here. And the fact that I don't know if this is restored or not, I'm going to give it a 5.0, and I'm selling it $5, free shipping, the coming at you live deal of the night. <laughs> <laughs> Five bucks for a book from 67. Um, so if you're working on your uh, annuals of uh, Fantastic Four, 
hit me up in the email. Beautiful book, presents very well. And like I said, I mean, if it didn't have that weird uh, screw ups at the top of the spine and some of the waviness, I would have given the book a 7.5 to 8.0 because the book is flawless other than that. It's about, I would say, off-white, creamed off-white pages in there, mostly off-white, but um, just a beautiful book. Um, five bucks, free shipping, Fantastic Four. Uh, you get a lot of your Inhumans. You get Black Panther. Uh, you know, my main man, Ben Grimm, is in there, and a lot of you Silver Server fans, there's a Silver Server story in there. So just a very cool book, and you can get that tonight, bardowdy one at gmail.com. Now, what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and turn the emails off. If you need to know any of our emails, um, you can rewind the show and all that good stuff. We're going to kind of go down the line. Um, I've got, oh, I got, an, <laughs> I got an email from a guy that wasn't even bidding, but hey, thank you so much. I got a mail message from Bruce. Bruce, I'll hit you up. 420 for life. <laughs> That's an inside joke. But anyway, so uh, let's go to Russ. Russ, how's your emails coming along? Um, go to somebody else. I'm trying, I'm trying to catch, to catch up, up on you. <laughs> hey, that's good. That's good. I know how that is, man. Sometimes when I'm going, like, sometimes when I was selling that stuff, starting my stuff at a dollar, free shipping, dude, I was like, the emails are coming in. I had to get it all lined up. How about you, Trinity, man? Any, any talk on the emails yet? They did. No, <laughs> man, man. I swear, if y'all are watching this on the Rewind, join the Blaster Stash Facebook page. Talk to this guy, Trinity, selling them dang Marvel Civil War, all the little, all the pop line from that movie. It's awesome. I mean, check I it out. It. There. I'm, ready. I'm, re I'm ready. Oh, wait, wait. Russ is ready. I, I, hear, I hear Russ. Russ? All right. Um, Wow. This uh, East or West is still at $30, $30 ship. Like I said, ship is probably close to $10, so $30 ship. Uh, uh, don't wait to the last I'm second to, you know. I'm a when, big fan. I'm a big fan. Yeah, I, I've heard this is a very good series, and they talks about, I don't know, TV or movie, but. Four very, Horsemen of the, it's Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, uh, futuristic. It's sci-fi yet Western tone. Death is in there. I mean, it's it's awesome. Um. This one actually has a bid. Heroes for Hollow's uh -oh. Cage. Um, Good. It is up uh, to 150. Bid is at 150. Damn, so congrats, dude. This, That's awesome. This book will be gone tonight. So I'll show a quick close up of this book. But uh, I had some pictures on the Blaster Sash Facebook page. But this book, beautiful book, like I said, probably 5.5 five to 6. Oh, can use a pressing. It's at 150. Awesome. And I just saw an email pop in for this book. So Days of First Future Pass uh, was at $20. Now it's at $22. Uh, $22 for this book. And I'm going to go quickly to show how this book looks because I probably graded it way lower than a 7.5. <laughs> but uh, just to give y'all a quick insight of how that book looks. But this is at $22. So the bids are coming in, so get them in. Like I said, don't wait for the last second because wait till the last second. It was going to be locked in. When he says it's over, it's over. Damn, that's awesome, man. Congrats again to Russ. I mean, Russ has had Power Man Luke Cage for, for a good while, and he just wants to give it a good home. And that's the thing. If you get on uh, and you watch Legends Live Auction, you'll get better deals than what you see anywhere else, uh, eBay, um, you know, or uh, eBid. You know, I'm, I also have an eBid account, but you know, eBay is a little better than eBid because e eBay more popular. But the Legends Live auction is taking the world by storm. Just ask our good friend Big Bear right here, <laughs> one of the best. Well, I do have a bid on the Casper. <laughs> oh, cool! So I got a, I got the uh, minimum bid, the ten bucks on the Casper. And the werewolves are still at eleven dollars, and for that lot there, eleven bucks, including the original movie classic book, a couple werewolf by nights, and it's still only at eleven. So that guy's getting a good deal. Oh man, that is that's damn good. God, I love those books. I was talking to Mike, uh, Comic Crypt of Castle Hills, and he was showing some old school uh, horror stuff. I love the black and white horrors on uh, Sunday after my 
granddad, you know, we watch the, they watch the Cowboys play around noon and then come around two o'clock on the, uh, the high up channels, they would run a uh, creature feature. You'd either get like a, you know, one of the Frankensteins and then you'd get a Wolfman yeah. movie or I'd watch those on Sunday afternoons. <laughs> oh, that was a good time, man. All right. Well, that's damn good, Big Bear. For me, myself, I do not have any bids tonight, but that's all right. What it does, it gets me off my lazy butt, gets me going through my comic book collection, and then, you know, some of these items, you know, I'll, I'll sell, put back on eBay, or, hey, you know what, I may even just give away some stuff, but not tonight. <laughs> but, yeah, it's always fun to – to come out and do some legends live auction right. and getting bids now all of a sudden i got uh, a 40 dollar bid on the frankenstein lot. oh sweet yeah and i got something else hang on uh, let's go here email uh, uh it's a little dragon here i'll let you know in one second all right well, fans what we're going to be doing it's 10.52 Central, 11.52 Eastern right now. We're going to have the uh, bids for tonight stop in three minutes at uh, 11.55 Eastern, 10.55 Central Standard Time. So, Big Bear, any updates? Yeah, uh, the werewolf, $15 on the werewolf lot. All right. So, people, so that went up. You got to get them in. I mean, people like – sometimes it's like people – will wait to go to the final round and then they'll start bidding on stuff which is always fun for us sellers because we get to see all those emails coming in let me go to the chat real quick before we uh, end the show tonight celos 189 celos comics it's good to see you in the chat we have mike spectacular spider spider grandpa and he also has a lot of civil war pops as well we have our buddy contender He's still hanging out. He's watching him some – oh, he says it's on Fox Sports. So he's talking about some sports there, Mass Marvel. Mass Marvel wants us to know that on Halloween, they'll do uh, – a lot of the comic shops will have the uh, Halloween Comic Fest, which is this year. It's on October 29th. So you can get some free Halloween-inspired comic books. It's kind of like free comic book day, but kind of on Halloween. Jay Rocks is joining. He's saying, what's up? What's up, fellas? Um, and then Mr. Gretzky says he loves that Harvey of, uh, of Casper. You know, Mr. Gretzky's a big collector of uh, uh, Richie Rich books. Uh, he likes some of those Richie Rich, Richie Rich books. Also, HOC Comics, he's like, see those, man? <laughs> oh, man. How much was the Breaking Bad Pops um, collector? The Walter White one right here is uh, $20 uh, free shipping. And then old Jesse Pinkman here is um, $50 uh, free shipping, and it's the um, the beat-up version, limited to 2500 uh, San Diego International Comic-Con exclusive for 2014, 2500 of those. That's 50 bucks. You get the acrylic case and free shipping, and this one's 20 Breaking Bad, uh, Walter White. We got one more minute. Russ, any new emails coming through? Uh, let me check really quick. Let's refresh this. Um, gonna go through them really quick. Um, if I can find them, it's this is still at 150. The Luke Cage is at 150. Um, 150. Uh, still at 150. Um, East of West, I showed earlier, is still at $30. Ship $30. Um, and where else was I? I got one, two, three, and and we have a last uh, last second bid at X Men is going to be twenty two dollars and fifty cents. <laughs> just, got it in. just got it in. The bids are now officially closed. I will show um, Jeremy show those Funkos again real quick. <clears throat> I have this one. A while ago, I said I would sell you this one and this for 30 I go down to 25 for both of them shipped. Email Jeremy30, J-E-R-A-M-I-E-3-0, Jeremy30. Now, you Gmail, Jeremy? Yeah. Gmail.com. Get up on it. Well, 
that's awesome right there, man. We've had a great auction tonight. Uh, we want to do some final uh, thoughts and shout-outs. We're going to go with you, Russ. What you got for final thoughts and shout-outs? Uh, final thoughts. Uh, I want to uh, say each one of these guys to my – I don't know if it's going to be rough, right or left, depending <laughs> on how you look at it. They have some great items. If you didn't get any of those items, contact them. That's my final thoughts on that aspect. And uh, also, shout-outs to each one of these. Check out their channels. Uh, Big Bear does his previews. Trinity is uh, – I'll call him Mr. A.K.A. Southern Funko Master. Um, and uh, also shout out to the great legend for having us. Uh, also shout out to people like Captain Cole. He's hadn't been here. Um, Contender who's in the chat. Uh, Huey's Comics Corner. Uh, Spider Grandpa. Thank you so much. I, um, looking forward to the package that I won. Shout out to him and every Midwest and everybody else on the Blaster Session crew. Uh, check out my videos. I will have another video up later. Uh, this week uh, showing a trade I did. So check that out. Um, and that is it. Awesome. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, shout out to everybody on the panel. Sub them up. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Sub them up. And uh, I don't know about any of these guys, but if you want anything that I showed here tonight that I, that, that I didn't sell because I didn't sell nothing, I'll honor the, the prices that I gave on here and uh, just go check me out on Blast of the Stash uh, Facebook page. I'm selling a lot of Funko Pops on there and pretty much my whole collection. I'm trying to dwindle it down. So if you want anything on there, I'll sell them, make deals. Also, anything that I showed here that you want, that even up to those uh, Civil War Pops that I made of that deal, I'll, I will trade it. I will trade it for comics. What a, you know, get, hit me some offers up. But uh, I also would like to give a shout out to the Chicago Cubs because I told Mike last <laughs> week on Blast of the Stash that they're going to win the uh, World Series this year. So that's for you, Mike. They're going to get it. Go Cubs. <laughs> awesome. How about you, Big Bear? I've um, been doing this for eight months now, and uh, I want to give a shout out to four of my best customers so far. And uh, Trilogy. Steve, thank you for all the business. Uh, Contender, thank you for all the business. I appreciate it. Captain Cold, thank you for all the business. And the great legend, thank you for your business, man. I appreciate it. And uh, good deals. The rest of you, the rest of everybody, have a great night. And we'll see you in two weeks, I believe. Or two and, weeks. All, and also, people, if y'all send in bids now, it's too late. Uh, when he said it was over, it's over. The people who got it, the twenty-two dollar fifty cent is gone. That's gone. East or West is gone. Don't send emails during the show. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You, you got to get it in. You, know, cause you don't want to wait too long and do your little snipes and everything because that won't work here. You know we you know, we, gotta, we can't stay awake all night doing what we do. You know, but uh, I just want to thank everyone on the panel. Always big bear, uh, tried and true. Always on the show, a great guy to have around. Just a great guy, Big Barry. You're fun to hang with, and thanks for bringing right, cool. Norman on there tonight. <laughs> uh, Jeremy, uh, always good having Jeremy on here. Newest member of Blaster Stash. It's a live show on Friday night at 10 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. Central. Check out Jeremy at Hoodat Comics, Collectibles, Gaming, Sarap 25, Yahoo.com. He's coming at you live on these auction shows. And he always gets some great books. And like I said, he's one of my go-to guys on on the books that are get really hot, you know, the, the really hot books. Special shout-outs to Contender Trilogy. Sorry, I know you were probably maybe had to get called into work. Sorry you couldn't make it on the show tonight, but we still got your spot here. Whenever you want to do some selling, that goes for Contender, Captain Cole, Simplify Comic Guy, any of y'all folks need to sell. Let, let let me know, and we'll get you on the show. Well, for all these awesome dudes on the panel, and for Legends Live Auction, we're going to see you when we see you November 5th, Saturday, November 5th. First uh, Saturday in November is when we'll see you next time on Legends Live Auction. This is the great legend saying peace out. God bless. Good night. Later, guys.